Good evening, everyone. This is Gary Bennett at Excel Me. Welcome to Objective C for Absolute Beginners. Tonight, we're going to be talking about understanding NS Array and NS Mutable Array, specifically with NS Array. We'll go into NS Mutable Array in our class next week uh, when we talk about how we can change items to an array after we've initialized it, which by definition we can only do with an NS Array. We can only initialize it, we cannot change it. Mutable means change, and we can change it after we initialize. Um, for those of you that are attending live or listening on YouTube, if you'd like to um, uh, be able to uh, listen live, if you're listening on recorded or vice versa, just go to excelme.com, and let me bring it up here. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, as my super fast internet connection. There it goes, comes up and uh, go to free videos and here you'll see a list of all the YouTube videos that I've had put out as well as you can go to the channel YouTube channel and subscribe that way you get notified every time a new YouTube video comes out if you'd like to attend free and ask questions after the class um, you can um, attend live there every Wednesday night at 6 30 p.m. Pacific time just click on that and you'll get the reminder and the go to webinar information on how to attend all right, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, I've already made up a project using my new handy dandy Xcode 4.2 iOS 5.0 that just got released today. And I'll talk a little bit later what the differences are, specifically with um, automatic reference counting and um, memory allocations, which makes our lives a whole lot easier. But anyway, let's go ahead and look at how we go ahead and initialize, typically initialize an array. Um, one way of doing it is init with objects. And you can add the same um, the same object to the array. You cannot mix objects, so I can't put an ns um, or I can't put a uh, a string here followed by ns number followed by a dictionary. They've got to be the same types. And when you're done, you need to tell it by putting nil there. All right. Now um, let's go ahead and run it and just look at what I have in my array. There they are. Here's the items in my array. Now let's um, let's do a couple things with the array and talk about how they work. Now remember, with an array, after we initialize it, we can just access the information. We cannot change the information. We'll do that next week. So let's say I want to um, access the first item in my array. Remember, arrays are zero index, meaning the first item is at uh, location zero. The second item is at location one third items at location two, etc. Um, you can't do, like you probably seen in other programming languages, you can't do that. That's not how you do things in Objective-C. There's a method called object at index, and we tell it the index we want. Um, also, if you want to know how many items are in your array, um, that will give you call count. That is a nice method to do that. You'll use that a lot. And then to get the last item in the array, um, last object. Let's go ahead and run it and take a look at it. Go run. And here's the first item in my array, which is Gary. There are a total of uh, six. Um, there are a total of six items in my array. And um, that's not zero index. That's the actual number, one, two, three, four, five, six. And the last item in the array is same. If you say you want to get the third item or fourth item in the array, okay, so this would be actually index number four, which would be the fifth one, one, two, three, four, five. It should return John. Let's go ahead and run it and see. Boom, there it is, John. Um, be very careful as you access items in the array, you don't go past the bounds, the end of the array. You'll get a, um, uh, you'll get an, a memory crash. And I'm um, telling you that um, if you're looking in your output screen that you've done that, let's go ahead and exceed the bounds of my array. Things become unstable and um, it will likely crash right there. Let's go ahead and run it. There we go. Boom. Crashed. I get my dump here. And um, OK, 
Here it is telling me that I've gone past the bounds of my array. All right. Well, I hope this kind of got you started with arrays, some of the principles and how to use it. We'll be talking about next week how to change items in our array, how to add items, remove items, insert items, put them at the end, put them at the beginning, all that good stuff um, with mutable arrays. Thanks for joining us. Again, if you'd like to be able to access all the YouTube videos, just go to my website, click on the free tab. There they all are. You can go to the channel and then you can also attend live. See you next Wednesday, same time, 6.30 p.m. And I'll be happy to answer questions now for those of you that are attending live after I stop the recording. Thanks for attending, everybody. Good night.